All right, so today we are going to be putting this box out um, on the property. We have a remote site that is receiving PoE from my solar setup, and this is going to be all set up for um, receiving, stepping down the voltage, and then transmitting and receiving a few different signals um, from some other remote location. So this is kind of a extender site to the existing solar site that I already have. We have this box here that I got from Home Depot. I think it was 100-ish bucks, something like that. Um, it came with this key. Uh, it's obviously not secure, but it's to prevent um, just people from messing with it, I guess. Um, we open up the box here. This will obviously be facing up and standing up, um, but it's got this nice metal on the back that I could mount things to, um, or it's just got just a ton of space in here that I could use to just have the switches and that kind of thing just laying in here, which is the route that I'm going to go today. So I'm going to close this up. Oh, it's also got a grounding loop. Not that I will need to use it. It is a wooden post. Um, but it is still a nice thing to have to have that grounding loop and I'm just checking here to make sure this wire is not in the way but it does seem as if it is so I'm going to move this but that's about it so I'm gonna go get this installed I will show you how I'm installing it we'll be right back before we go over to the tower uh, I did want to take a look at how much solar power I am generated and I have not looked in this box for a long time so I just want to make sure it's like bug free uh, and that kind of thing um, but it does look like we are generating like no solar power, which is really odd. So I'm unsure why uh, we are only generating about five amps here and it goes back down to like zero amps. It's a very sunny day. I um, mean, there's a cloud right there, but um, let me check again here. It looks like it only gets to about 6.2 amps and then it goes back down to zero. So I'm not sure why it's doing this. I need to investigate a little more. Um, let's take a look here. 9.56 amps. Here we go. It's getting higher. But then it just drops back down for whatever reason. My assumption would be that it's doing this because this solar panel right here is different from all of the other ones. Um, as you can see, like the layout of the panels are different on these two compared to this specific one. So um, I don't know if it's because you cannot have... You can't mix and match solar panels, but worst case, what I can do is I can actually go grab another MQTT um, solar charge controller, and I can have this specific panel just add, just go right into the power there of the battery. So that won't hurt anything because it'll still charge the battery, um, but it will keep the energy separate coming in. So that way there's um, multiple different methods the energy can be stored into the battery. Um, because I'm still seeing outages at night at this point, which it really should not be. At about 12 o'clock every night, the um, system shuts off for a little bit, turns back on eventually. But um, at this point, I should not be seeing those kinds of outages because it's very sunny outside. Sorry about the plane. Um, but it's very sunny outside these days and we should be generating enough electricity that it could last all night. Um, so the battery's just not getting charged and yeah, so we gotta get that fixed. But let's go over to the other tower site. Okay, so it's now a couple of hours later. I have this up on the post that um, the camera is on. So this is in, this is probably 500 feet back from where the point to point re receiver is. Uh, it's about right over there. Um, so it's just an ethernet connection coming from a switch that I have on that post there. Um, and this is sending over um, 24 volts, I believe. Yeah, because this is receiving at 24 volts. Uh, and then we are upping that up to 56 volts. Now, the thing is as well, um, on the other end, this is actually a really good 24 volt signal because on the other end where this is receiving at with the receiving um, point to point receiver, uh, that is actually getting its signal from a 56 volt feed that transforms down into a 24 volt feed. So um, there's less voltage drop there doing that because 56 volts can be stepped down to 24 volts pretty well. Um, so then this is, this is just going back up to 56 volts. Uh, up there for the camera. So, um, unfortunately, I'm not seeing any network connection here on the camera. So yeah, the camera is now online. Everything is working as expected. Yeah, that is this outdoor enclosure in its entirety. Let's lock this up and we'll be good to go.